Hi guys, it's reaction time. Blackberry smoke and dig a hole. Been waiting for more music from one of my favorite southern rock bands. They are amazing. I've seen them live a load of times as well. I've got a load of t-shirts of Blackberry Smoke. A massive fan of this band. They got an album called um, Be Right Here. It's coming out sadly next year. <laughs> February the 16th, sorry. February the 16th. Be Right Here it's called. Um, so, I mean, that's a long time to wait, isn't it? But it won't obviously be my top albums of this year, but more than likely, pretty guaranteed, it will be next year because they are an amazing band um so dig a hole like i said the new song this is the official video came out yesterday and man i mean the, the last album you hear georgia was pretty amazing uh be right here is the eighth studio album that's coming out next year so that's pretty mad as well especially considering you know i see them as a new band but like I've said before, anything that's after 1995 is like a new band to me. <laughs> it's just mental. That's how old I am. Anyway, this is Blackberry Smoke. This is Dig a Hole. Here we go. It's all where you give Dig a hole Yeah, dig a hole Big man, little man Pulling on a dollar Fork in the road, man Who you gonna follow? Right man, wrong man Down to the wire Will you speak the truth With your feet to the fire? Dig a hole Anyone want a cat? Honestly, it's just ridiculous. Um, let's get on to the song, man. It is Blackberry Smoke. It is what I expect. It is brilliance. They are absolutely excellent at what they do. And that's why with a handful of bands, I mean, you notice that on this channel, I do cover a few bands, Southern Rock, but there's not that many because it takes a special Southern Rock band to get me you know, to love them as much as I do this band. And there's, a, like I said, there's a handful and that, that ranges from like Skinnered, classic Skinnered, and that ranges to, you know, the Steelwoods, definitely this band, uh, the Delta Suns, you know, there's, a, there's not many because it's some, it takes something that special to grip me in the Southern rock world. And 
this band have done it since the first time I heard them. They've got something really special about them. What I love about them as well is they're very, it's not dreary. It's not depressing. They've got this sort of sound that's a bit uplifting, very down to earth. They make me smile. And they also make me smile, just, just not lyrically, but the groove that they've got. And man, as soon as that kicks in that song, I was in this like, oh yeah, man. It's super smooth, that groove, that sort of bluesy, almost Motown-y feel, would you say, that they've got in, that, in those verses. Brilliant. Charlie Starr on the vocals and guitar, he's just a, a rock star. That's what he is. And uh, hearing him belt out those lyrics, especially when you just got the drums and him just belting them out, it's amazing stuff. I've been writing some little things down here just to make sure I don't forget because I'm getting older now, obviously. Um, but the stripped back feel that they've got in this it sort of almost reminds me of the last album you hear, Georgia, which was a fantastic album. It's almost an extension of that album to me, this actual song. They do really vary their albums. If you listen to them, guys, they're, you know, they can be very country at times and then they can really rock out. So they, they really vary. I've got a brilliant T-shirt. Not, not, this is a brilliant T-shirt, but I've got another one that says two country for rock, two rock for country. And they are very much like that. They can be too much. They can veer on the countryside you know too much for some people sometimes but then they really rock out and they, i think they mix it up perfectly I, I don't think they're too much of either i think they just blend them in a in an excellent way i love the verses but then that bluesy sort of feel motown sort of feel but then when they get into the chorus man i think that's where their southern uh, side really shines through as well it, it's a brilliant brilliant chorus it's already there in my head what I expect from Blackberry Smoke, what I always expect brilliance, and I always get it. They are just one brilliant band that stand out in the southern rock genre, without a doubt. They, and they, you know, they definitely got that Skinnered influence, and that I think that's one of the things that really pulls me into them. Um, and Skinnered had that blues as well, didn't they? And a lot of their, you know, their early albums, they really were bluesy, and some songs were totally bluesy and i think um the influence from them is just you know it's very noticeable but i'm sure the band wouldn't mind me saying that i mean skinner don't we all love skinner well i fucking do anyway um this is a brilliant start just like i said what i expect let's listen to the rest guys let's see what we're gonna get here we go Fucking hell, man. I love the little breakdown when it just went to Charlie Star singing and the little organ, just little touches like that. Just really authentic. Do you know what I mean? Just brilliant. Uh, the solo was fantastic. And for me, again, the Skinner vibes coming on there. Even the um, even the effect on the guitar felt like it had some Skinner vibes for sure. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. I think this, it, that song is so cool sounding. You know when you... If you ever are in a town, you know, your local town or whatever, and someone drives past and it's a sunny day 
and they have the top down so they've got a convertible and they drive through and they're playing the most god awful fucking shit music pop dance whatever the fuck it is rap and you look round don't you and you hear you watch it go past and you, you look like that and whoever you with you look back and you go twat <laughs> that would be the opposite if that song was being played I think in walk, going through a town in exactly the same scenario and someone walked past, you would look, wouldn't you? You would go, oh, fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. That just sums the sound of that song up. Absolutely amazing. That was Blackberry Smoke. That was Dig a Hole. Remember, guys, the album sadly ain't out till February the 16th next year. It's called Be Right Here. It's a long time to wait, but we obviously are going to get singles leading up to that album, which will be brilliant. Let me tell you now, the album will be fantastic. It'll be excellent. I can't wait for that. That was Blackberry Smoke. That was Dig a Hole. Guys, all you fucking Southern Rock fans, all you metal fans. I know there's a lot of metal fans into Blackberry Smoke. Whatever you're into, let me know what you think of that song in the comments below. If you are a Blackberry Smoke fan, are they your favourite Southern Rock band? Let me know. Guys, loved it. See you soon.